Alright guys, so, got Fox back. He will be leaving us shortly though. Um, went ahead and just walked over to the riverboat landing because we will be doing the local flavor. Um, it was right here. I just went ahead, fast traveled here and walked. So, yeah. I went ahead, uh, while you're, while, you know, in between vids, I sold a bunch of stuff, a lot of my aid and everything, a bunch of buff out and stuff. Uh, I had over 6,000 caps and then I just bought a bunch of, I bought all the ammo that Maria had at the place, but since we're going to be losing Fox here shortly. Something. Troubling you, my friend. Yes, the fact that you'll be leaving me again, Fox. Yes. Uh, by all means, let's. Oh, he actually doesn't have uh, any aid. That's fine. Um, gave him this because we have the T fifty one uh, power armor. Uh, let's see. I'll take the grenades because I sold Maria a lot of grenades. Plasma, yes. Uh, mines. I'll go ahead and take. Ten of them. Pulse. I don't think we're going to be needing those. And I don't want to be carrying around these tribeam lasers. Uh, let's see. Oh, Fox had the damn crutch. I also got a um workstand for the little house I have. But I didn't have a, like two or three things to make the rail railway rifle, uh, so I couldn't do it. But I didn't know he had the the crutch because that was one of them. So, all right, let's get it started. You, are you going to Point Lookout? I need your help. My daughter stowed away on the Duchess Gambit a few weeks ago, and I've been worried sick ever since. I haven't heard anything from her, but if you're going there, could you look for her? Please, I'll do anything to help. I can't promise anything, but I'll look for her. Oh, bless you. Her name is Nadine, and she left a couple of weeks ago. Said she wanted to see the world. Silly little thing that she is. That Tobar said he dropped her off at Point Lookout, but who knows what's happened to her since then. I don't know if you can convince my little Nadine to come back, but just give her this note from me, would you? Do you know anything about Point Lookout? Only that it's where Tobar gets those punga fruits he sells off. Must be making a good profit off of them, too. I hear rumors the place is full of swamps and killer plants, but I don't know about all that. See, what can you tell me about your daughter? She's about your age, and when she left, her hair was dyed bright orange. You shouldn't have any problem recognizing her. She told me she wanted to go find her fortune, but I thought it was too dangerous. I should have known better than to say that. The moment I told her she couldn't go, it was just a matter of time before she ran off. Please, find my daughter. Okay, so we got a note. Uh, ammo mill, still okay. That's stuff for the mill. So, uh, note to Nadine, my darling little Nadine, or Nadi. Uh, I know life wasn't always the best at home, and we've had a few rough winters. I don't blame you for running off to find something better. As your age, at your age, you think you're wasting away at home while the world's just waiting for you to come get, come get it. When I was about your age, I ran off from my mom, too. And even though there were some trouble, terrible things along the way, it ended with me having you. So I can't complain. I just wish you could have seen your grandmother. I wish I had the chance to see her again myself. If you're reading this, I just want you to know you're always welcome back. Please, learn from my mistake and don't stay away forever. Miss you, XOXOXO, Mom. Had a tough time reading that for some reason. Don't need anything in those damn suitcases. Uh, yeah, I don't need anything in there. Welcome, my friend. 
I am Tobar the Ferryman, and this fine vessel is the Duchess Gambit. We're just back from Point Lookout, but it won't be long before we set off again. Interested? I might be. What's so special about Point Lookout? You look like a man who's been around the waist, so I'll cut right to it. In Point Lookout, you'll find fresh-grown food, mysterious locales, and treasures as of yet unlooted. But keep your wits about you, because you'll find more than a few exotic critters and inhospitable locals. So stay here if you're not man enough. Nice boat. You must have seen a lot of places with it. You should have seen her back in her heyday. Why, we traveled up and down the coast from the Commonwealth to the Broken Banks. Good times, but these days she's not fit to take out to the coast. Too many spouts ready to drown her and too many critters looking for lunch. But the Point Lookout run is good enough for now. We've got a sweet deal ferrying cargo and the occasional traveler. Let's see, tell me more about Point Lookout. Down south, this side of the bay, there's a soggy strand of beach called Point Lookout. Oh, it's got it all! Ruins of ancient pleasure towns, mysterious swamps bristling with treasure, and all practically untouched by outsiders. But if you're curious, I could offer you a ride over to that faraway land. For a nominal fee, of course. And sorry, but I don't do group trips. If you want to see Point Lookout, you'll have to leave your friend here. Let's see, a girl named Nadine caught a ride on your ship. Any idea where she is? Ah, Nadine. Sprightly little tomboy with more curiosity than common sense, that one. <laughs> Caused so much trouble on the trip that I probably would have thrown her overboard <laughs> if she hadn't reminded me of myself at her age. I haven't seen her since we hit land at Point Lookout. But knowing her, I'll bet she's gotten herself in plenty of trouble. See, I'd like to buy a ticket. Looking for fame and fortune? Hoping to cultivate the delicious punga fruit? Or just looking to run away from your life on these dreary shores? Might as well buy all that. Uh... Damn, tickets are expensive. See, is there anything we can sell him? We pretty much use our ammo, so... See. Not really. I mean, stealth boys we don't really use. Sell them two of those. Twenty-three grenades. Uh, will I use that many? I don't know. I'll, I'll sell them like five, just to get rid of a little bit. Let's see, we got anything? Mines. Oh, I think that's about it. Do I need anything else? Once you've got a ticket, just head into the cabin and settle in on the cot. We'll be there in no time. And sorry, but I. Yeah, I know. Ready Whenever to head out. you're ready, just take a rest on the cot in the cabin. We'll be at Point Lookout in no time. Okay. Nothing in there. Let's see. Oh, hey, Fox. You know you're leaving, man. I'm sorry. That requires a key. Just checking everything out real quick. And absolutely nothing up here. Yeah. I can't drive the boat. I don't have a boat license. Okay. The Duchess Gambit is ready to begin its trip to Point Lookout. Travel to Point Lookout. And of course, Fox will be at the uh, museum when we come back. The Ark and Dove Cathedral is named for the. Oh, damn it. Fox has returned to the. Yeah. Look at it. It's 
great little uh, tunes they play coming here. Around the, the bog, swamps, you got the hillbillies. Welcome to Point Lookout, my friend. The trip was fine. The weather's nice and damp, and everything out there looks pleasant as ever. Looks like nothing's changed since my last visit, except all that smoke I saw on the way in. Should I be worried? What's over there? Oh, nothing much. Just old Calvert Mansion. Just a huge abandoned estate teeming with who knows what opportunities for profitable scavenging. You know, nothing much. I know I said Point Lookout was perfect for treasure hunters, but it's a rare day when you get a beacon like that. Any place you recommend in Point Lookout? Depends what you're looking for. If you need supplies, head to the shop over at the end of these docks. Convenient? and I get caps for referring you. If you need a place to stay, there's an old motel further into town. The beds there are still pretty soft, even if it's because they're full of lice. Oh, God. And if you're looking for some hunting, there's a fella named Plick who runs a club out in the Northeast. Strictly for high rollers, though. Good travels to you. Okay, so let's take a look at our map. Oh. Quest is investigate the mansion, but we have the world map, and as you can see, Point Lookout is a much bigger place than uh, the pits and Operation Anchorage. Uh, we have the mansion down there, Pilgrim's Landing, House of Wares, uh, Beach View campsites, the Homestead Motel. USS Ozymandias, okay. So we're probably gonna try to check out as much of this as we can before we leave. Uh, um, point lookout. Um, so what we're gonna do first, because you can see there's a road right here. It takes us all the way over there. So what we're gonna do is head up to Pilgrim's Landing, then House of Wares, in the Homestead Motel, and then we go down here. We'll hit up um, Beachview Campsite as well. Let's have our weapon out. Pilgrim's Landing. Now this one, I, I remember a good bit about Point Lookout. Not, I mean, I don't know like so much where, oh there's actual people over here. Oh, where I know where to go and everything like that, so. Welcome, Panda. Welcome traveler, stop by. Well, hello there young traveler. The fates had told me that I would receive a visitor today. But I'm being rude. I am Madame Panada, and this is Madame Panada's House of Wares. For all things a traveler needs, I am here to provide. Bullets, stim packs, arm. All right, lady. Let's see if she can Certainly. repair. Nah. Madame Panada is quite handy. I, to be honest, thought her name was Panda. Yeah, didn't really see the whole extra A in Panada, so. That's not bad, miss. So we got a vicious dog over here. Ugh. That was a little crazy looking. Oh god, we got a couple. Oh, we got two and a mole rat. Really 
with him and that mole rat. And we'll go ahead and take all the uh, food and stuff just so we don't have to use up as many stim packs. The Homestead Motel. That mole rat was empty. So let's see, we can check out, see if there's any place we can go in here. Got door to room 10. Storm door to room 10. Uh, it's got a very dead person. Bottle cats, fishing pole, and a fission battery. Chinese pistol we don't need, but we will take the rounds. Locker key. Got a stealth boy. Safe house terminal. Welcome to USA, Dr. Zhang. Audio safe to, uh... Recover the dead Chinese spy mission debriefing from the locker endpoint lookout. Okay. I apologize that I cannot receive you in person, Agent Zhang. Our Norfolk contact confirms your arrival. How eager the Americans are to believe that a great mind of the people would defect. Our countrymen will herald you as a hero when your work is done. To that end, let us turn to the details of your mission. This room will be your safe house and point lookout. Focus initially on playing the American lapdog. Do not arouse suspicion. When it is safe, use the key you were given in Norfolk to open one of the public rental lockers on the boardwalk near the motel. You will be provided with the password you'll need to access your mission dossier. Zhu Ni Hallen, Agent Jang. End auto transcription compared to audio for accuracy. Okay, so, new quest, The Velvet Curtain. And that's actually a pretty interesting quest. I really, really like it. And our quest for the Velvet Curtain. Recover the dead Chinese spies mission debriefing from the locker and point lookout. Which, of course, is just over there, so. Let's see if we can check out any more of these rooms. Yes, we can. More dead. Always gonna be the deads. Confederate hat and workman's coveralls. Okay, we got a double barrel shotgun. Whoops, I do not need to sleep. A lot of money lying around though. Oh damn it. I did not need the medical brace. No, I want the money. It's okay, it's just money. They had the sawed-off shotgun. Let's take a look at the double barrel. Because the sawed-off does 37. That's fine and dandy, but we have combat. Let's see. Where's the other one? Oh, double barrel. That's right. 61 damage, and our combat is only 41. Wow. I'm gonna go ahead and keep the double barrel. That's really good damage. And it's almost broken, so I'm not gonna use it. Let me get that thing fixed. So, yeah, in, um,. Operation Anchorage, The Pit, I think Broken Steel as well. Um, all you could do was the main mission, that's really all there was. Now The Pit, you know, you can go back there and uh, get ingots and stuff like that. But there's no, not really a point in doing it because, I mean, we have 
everything we need, so. But this one you actually have uh, side stuff, so that's really cool. Alright, there's the locker. We'll do this one first, though. Absolutely nothing. Box 1207, spies audio password. your arrival. How eager the Americans are to believe that a great mind of the people would defect. Our countrymen will herald you as a hero when your work is done. To that end, let us turn to the details of your mission. This room will be your safe house in Point Lookout. Focus initially on playing the American lapdog. Do not arouse suspicion. When it is safe, Use the key you were given in Norfolk to open one of the public rental lockers on the boardwalk near the motel. You will be provided with the password you'll need to access your mission debriefing. The agreed upon payment will be paid upon extraction. Haryun, Agent Chang. Okay, so. Now, we got that, so we have to use the password Holotate to access. Safety deposit box 1207 at the Point Lookout Bank. Which is not far away. And that that's another thing I like too. I, I you know I like to I like to travel in the games, you know, see what it has to offer and everything. But if you have a cool little side quest like this, it's really nice when everything's just kind of around here. So you don't have to walk twenty minutes there, twenty minutes back, and you know, stuff like that. Oh, I didn't even actually no, you can actually go into any of these places. I think this is one of the only ones, though. People's Bank of Point Lookout. Gotta always check those garbage cans. We are in no need of the fishing poles. Stupid rabbit, just grab that meat. Loan officer's desk, box eleven ninety one, password backup. Okay, so we'll be able to get into some more, hopefully. Where's this annoying ass rad roach? And you. Why are there fishing poles in filing cabinets? Alright, so we got a terminal right there. Go ahead and open these safes first. Oh, damn. Bottle caps, double barrel, shotgun. All right, we can improve them. Lever action rifle, medex, pre war money. Let's go ahead and open this one. Oh, close. Yeah. Another double barrel. Let's go ahead and fix these up. So now the double barrel shotgun does 84 damage. And we have also a... Where is it? A lever, lever, lever action rifle. Which right now only does... Uh, 33 damage, but it uses uh, 10 millimeter, which I think, yeah, this uses 10 millimeter. It does damage 51 when it's fully repaired, so. But a rifle is easy to shoot. Security updates. In compliance with our parent company, Isla Negra Holdings, we are installing a new security system for our safety deposit customers. In addition to conventional tumbler locks, 
The new system will offer a keyless voice recognition lock alternative. Tellers are asked to encourage both existing and new safety deposit customers to sign up for this new service. National security update. All tellers are reminded to be on the lookout for any customers attempting to exchange foreign currency. Civil Defense has asked us to be especially vigilant of customers processing Chinese yuan notes. Should you encounter such a customer, trigger the silent alarm and attempt to delay the customer without arousing their suspicion. Shift close notes. Several large sum wire transfers today. We need to notify the feds in the AM. You'll need to replenish large bills. Payday is coming up. Another complaint about the voice activated locks in the safety deposit room. Dorothy came in to the uh, came in to fetch Burns' will, and we couldn't get the box open because his voice was the only one configured for authorization. I figure it's a long shot, but I told Dorothy to go home and see if she has any holotapes or such of Burn talking. We might get lucky and fool the lock into opening if we play it back in there. Oh, okay. Note added. Shift close notes. Okay, so here's where all the safety deposit things are. Why wow, it's a lot of wine. Let's see, let's make sure we got anything in here. Ah, the voice thing. All right, let's check out everything else first. Activate safety deposit box. This object effects. Okay, it's activated from that voice thing. Requested. The password is Zin Tang Wang. Cheese. <laughs> Processing. Processing. Password verified. Voice ID mismatch. Access denied. User voice unauthorized. Access denied. Oh, okay, hold on. Welcome to... Yes, yes, yes. Com. Secure teller. Vocal authorization requested. Can I do anything else? Uh, cheese. Processing. <laughs> Processing. Voice ID or... Okay. Access. So I think maybe... Audio password for my box is nevermore. Oh, okay. Hi. Welcome to Bingcom. Secure teller. Vocal authorization requested. Oh, okay, I got you. So, yeah, yeah. Access. So Data now, which one? This one? Access granted. I don't think there was any more though, besides this one. Some buff out. Oh, maybe this one right here, okay. Just buff out and pre-war money, is that really it? And a gnome. A plunger. Intact guard gnome, plunger. Yeah, that's it. What the hell? Alright, so let's go ahead and do Spy's audio password. Go to the bank and use the password Processing. Xin Chan Wen. Processing. The software is Voice configured ID to recognize confirmed. only our Access. voices. Alright, so we have the espionage debriefing. Let's go ahead and listen to that. Agent Zhang, as you know, an important Chinese surveillance vessel was lost in American waters. Your mission is to destroy derelict submarine SSN-37-1A dash dash before the Americans can recover and analyze it. The recovery location is included in this dossier, and your cover ensures that the Americans will allow you access to their recovery operation. However, you will need an authorization code to trigger the self-destruct sequence. 
One of our field operatives in your area, Agent Yang, has these codes hidden in a dental capsule, but her current whereabouts are unknown. Locate and rendezvous with Agent Yang, then destroy the submarine. Report to your safe house for extraction information when the mission is complete. The will of the people protect you, Agent Yang. Okay, so... Oh, okay. Wanted. Uh, person of interest. Attention citizens of Point Lookout. Wang Yang, suspected communist and Chinese sympathizer, has been reported in the vicinity of Point Lookout. Agent Yang may be operating under an alias and or using a disguise. You are required to report any suspicious persons or behavior to Lieutenant Krumfoltz, DIA, at the U.S. Naval Office located at 1811 St. Mary's Branch. Okay. So down there, which is pretty short. Search for clues about the fate of Agent Yang. Another reason I love this one is just like, uh, I'm, you have to get all these clues and stuff. That mole rat was already almost dead. Recruitment station. Oh, damn. Ah. Always turn that light on. Just a little extra light. Stupid ass rad roaches, they're annoying. Quit here. Quit fucking rad roach. Jeez. Okay. See nothing in lunchbox. Yeah, nothing over here. Another another fishing pole in the cabinets. I right, got a safe. Laser pistol, we do not want those. And a shovel. Actually, I'm gonna be honest, I think we're gonna need a shovel later on. No spoilers, not gonna say why, but I think we do. Oh. A mini nuke, yes please. DIA officer's terminal. Field report, Yang capture transfer. Local community informants provide intelligence. Oh wait, investigates the fate turtle dove detention camp, okay. um, leading to the capture and arrest of the priority person of interest, Van Yang, A.K.A. Five Claw Dragon. Yang is on file with DIA as a Chinese intelligence field agent operating within America and Canada over the past decade. Yang has been transferred to Turtle Dove detention camp for interrogation. Our office has so far declined comments to press and diplomats. Please have DOD relations advised regarding a public statement. Public release, person of interest. Uh, okay, this is the thing we saw on the wall. Photo file, we've seen that, yes. Okay. And that's just the bathroom, yes. So now, we need to investigate Agent Yang's fate at the Turtle Dove Detention Camp, which is way up there. Yeah. Well, I guess we should go there. Uh, we'll go to Haley's Hardware, of course. You know, we'll hit up, we're not gonna go out of the way for any of the places, because we'll just hit them up later on. But, uh, 
the ones we're gonna we just like pass through we're gonna go ahead and go there so we'll go to Haley's hardware not the ritual site um, when we go to the mansion we'll probably um, fast travel to Haley's hardware then hit up the ritual site then Beachview campsite and do it like that Another reason I, I love the Velvet Curtain mission is during the mission, you know, you don't have to kill a million things, you know. So it, it's kind of nice. It's not just a constant battle. Railway spikes. Yes, please. If we ever get to make the railway rifle. God, stupid sledgehammer is in my way. Go away, sledgehammer. And come on, give me that. Whatever. All the buff outs. Sting Gange Assembly we have. Okay. Oh, hello. Always good to see a stranger. Well, hello there. Welcome to, uh, welcome to Haley's Hardware. Well, we have hard wear. Is something wrong? Uh, no, no, not at all. I'm just not used to people all the way out here. My usual customers, well, I usually smell them before I see them. So who are your local, who are your usual customers? The swamp folk, mostly. I guess they don't bother me none because I was born here. They mostly trade meat and fruit, and never any cash or goods. The mercs are good for some trade and real hardware. So if you need ammo or anything like that, I can help you out. Oh, you're thinking, no, no, it's not a family thing. I took the name of the store when I found this place a couple years ago. Truth is, I don't even remember much before that. I woke up here with a headache a couple of years ago with the shop already set up. People came in and started trading. I didn't complain. It just became a job. All right, that's a little weird. I found some of it. Some was here when I got here. I got some from the Mercs. And every once in a while, that weirdo with the boat comes up here and trades a few good things. Sure thing. Are you here to buy something? Not really, but we'll see what he has for sale. I got all sorts of stuff. Take a look. Uh, you don't really have anything I want, buddy. I mean, you got a lot of stim packs, but I have a lot as well. Sure as a swamp folks head is squishy. What does our lever action rifle do now? Uh, right there. It does. Oh, it still only does 33, so. About Haley? There's not much to tell. What do you want to know? Ah, oh, that's it. Can't take anything, unfortunately. So that's basically it for Haley's hardware. Can't really steal anything from the guys. Just you know, making a living. All right, so let's go up to Margaret Shack. I guess there's a. There's a bridge we could cross over there, but well, it's a little radiation, right? I don't feel like walking over there. Plus, it's only one radiation. Not like uh, Fallout 76. You get, I think, like five or ten just swimming in there. I'm gonna get radiation right here, so oh, that's not good. We got Brawler. Ugh. He's disgusting looking. Look at him. Ugh. All right, but let's go ahead and take out. Let's use this Tesla cannon. Oh no! Wait, not the cannon. Uh, pretty go.
Where did my- oh, the gauze rifle. I don't have that anymore. That's right. Damn. Okay. Nah, not the fat man. Oh, I do have a gauze rifle. Okay. Right in the head. Oh god, that guy's gross looking. Oh, thank god, a critical strike knocked him back. That's hilarious. Ooh, they do some damage, don't they? Ooh. Let's go ahead and heal up. Oh, I miss. There we go. Right, where the hell is the last guy? Was that really it? Because he was laying on the ground. I don't think we need anything from him. Our double barrel, I think, yeah, our is fully up there, so we're good on that A fan. Yeah, these guys are, uh, they're kind of tough. Moonshiner Shack, we'll go ahead and head in there. Oh, hello. I killed everybody outside, by the way. You finding your way around, sweet? You ain't have the look of a local, son. Think you could help a sick woman get on the man? You're sick? What's the matter? Reckon it's the orange fever. I do feel light in my head. I've treated enough illness to know there's no such thing as orange fever. Now that is just an awfully rude thing to say, sweetie. You're faking. We both know it. So let's just cut to the chase. Well, I... Oh, fine. Maybe you're no hog's fool, but I reckon we both come out better if you can help me cook up some tonic. Let's talk about this tonic. Secret family technique. Been so for generations. Help me brew some up by gathering ingredients. I'll share the batch to make it worth your while and sweeten a deal with 300 caps. Damn. What's in this stuff anyway? Tell you what, have a bit. This is left over from an old batch, but should be a swig or two there. More than enough to loosen you up, I'll wager. Okay, I'll buy it. What do you need? This and that. Let me know when you want to work out the details. I'm ready. Let me know what you need for your tonic. There are too many ingredients, but I brew a, a large batch. So we need a good bit of each. We'll need a pung of fruit, yeast. And some fishing batteries for that extra little kick. Alright. I thought you'd. Let's see, talk about that. You're still. Could stand to be fixed up. I wanna know more about you now. Alright, so we have another one now. Another quest. Repair. Yeah. The old moonshine still has several loose fittings and some corrosion, but could be repaired with sufficient skill. Moonshine still is old. Okay. Let's talk to her about that. We fixed it. Well, if it ain't my... Could it now? I suppose you'd know how to see to that, wouldn't you? I'll get it working like new, but I want 200 caps. I reckon you've got a deal, sweetie. But I better notice a difference in the tonic. Thanks for I mending it. still, sweetie. <laughs> for this fee, the tonic had better taste like honey, though. Don't. All right, so we have that, and we well, we know where there's fission batteries, 
and punga fruit. These guys. Well, the one dude. Oh, yeah, there we go. There, we'll just take that. Let's just look at the uh, quest real quick. Bring Margaret six fission batteries, three bags of yeast, ten refined punga fruit, or twenty wild. Ooh. All right. Well, our next stop is, uh, damn it, what's it called? Turtle Dove Detention Camp. Alright, we got a feral, oh, feral ghouls, huh? Alright. Go ahead and change out the weapon as well. See what the infiltrator does. Ooh, now nah, we won't use that. See, that's cool. Now the, the ghouls are no longer my enemy. I like that. Howdy. How you guys doing? But what is... Oh, turrets. Okay. Yeah, turrets are usually enemies. Oh, shit. Oh! Yep. Oh. Ah. I'm just gonna try and get away from this a little bit. God damn it. Can I not jump over a bush? I was gonna say, let me see if I can cheese this a little bit, but I don't think it's happening. Ah, whoa. Alright, buddy, take it easy. Let's see, rat resistant? No. Take a psycho. Let's see, a medex. And I fucking hate these robots, so you know what? Ow. There we go. Ah. That was worth it. Trust me. The turrets, I don't. I can deal with pretty easy, but I absolutely hate the uh, sentry bots. They're insanely tough to kill. Ew, there's still one here. Whoa! Oh, the sentry bot's almost dead. Oh yeah, go and kill it. Awesome. There's some uh, pretty good perks, I guess, to um, having these ghouls as friends. I guess I'll take that, I don't know. You're creepy though. Glowing one. Well, they're still fighting that turret over there. Alright, let's head inside. Whoops. Okay, let's see what we got here. Assault rifles. No thanks. Okay. Don't need a sniper rifle. But I would definitely take all of this aid.
a lot of five five six ammo and a fission battery I forgot about the uh, that lady's quest and needing all those fission batteries if I remembered I would definitely grab the, all those that were on the fed Mm, but they do add up, don't they? Whew. And the yeast. Damn. Another yeast. Well, let's see. We'll drop some of this aid. Uh, we'll just drink the moonshine. We're still overweight? What the hell? Oh no. Yeah, we're still overweight somehow, even though we ate all of that. Damn. Let's see. Are we holding any miss stuff that weighs anything? I mean, besides the yeast. God, that weighs four pounds. Medical brace. Oh, yeah, we don't need that. Two more fission batteries. God damn it. <sighs> well, I'll be dropping stuff, I guess. Two more yeast. I'll have to see how many yeast she needs because I don't think, I honestly don't think it's this much. Alright, we got locked. It's only average. Too bad they don't need fishing poles. Damn. That's just a regular terminal, so let's go ahead open the safe first. Oh, this way. Uh, we do not need the stealth boys. Suspected spy. Federal agencies have added a new person of interest to our watch list. Dr. Zhang is in a Chinese national defector. Naturalization agent in Norfolk processed his defection after jumping over from a merchant ship he was stowed away on. Zhang was apparently in communication with a U.S. naval intelligence contact for some months prior. He's reportedly broken, uh, oh, brokered an immunity deal in exchange for his help recovering intelligence from the down submarine off our coast. Zhang is staying in room. 1D at the Homestead Hotel off the boardwalk. We're explicitly forbidden from issuing a search warrant against this location, but are authorized to monitor his activities in public. Interrogation reports. John Doe, submariner. Hunter spent another session in interrogation room B with the surviving crew member from the Chinese spy sub Navy is attempting recovery on. This guy's demonstrating extraordinary fortitude for a relatively low-ranking grunt. Can't say the Chinese don't make good soldiers out of their billet boys. I'm sure this one would have gone the same way as his skipper if the cyanide capsule in his molar hadn't been a dud. Hunter requested method B interrogation clearance, so I'm putting through to uh, Quantico for that in the morning. Error in complete archive. Wan Yang. Yang succumbed under method D interrogation during the afternoon. Medical examiner called in and verified cause of death as natural for the records. She's filed away in the morgue downstairs. For now, locker TD0181. We're running out of space down there and may need to do a disposal early this quarter. Camp operations reports, escape route patrols. 
Brenner observed suspicious activity after lights out yesterday. Prisoners apparently snuck into morgue overnight. He had the good sense not to apprehend them before reporting the event. We've known for some time about a septic runoff access point in the basement, which would be a good candidate for escapes. The runoff flows southwest of the camp, about a quarter of a mile or so. We'll keep a low profile about this and post guards in the area. They could make their break any night. Meanwhile, I'll try to and find an excuse to send somebody down there and check it out without arousing suspicion. I'd rather catch them in the act. Incomplete archive. Intelligence dossier Juan Yang. Bulletin Yang capture transfer. Local community informants provided intelligence leading to the capture and arrest of the prior priority person of the in, of interest. Juan Yang, NK Five Claw Dragon. Yang is on file with DIA as China. Oh, we've read this. Incomplete archive. Person of interest. Alias intelligence file. Yes. We've read that in the other terminal. Okay, so... Let's see. Three. Okay, she only needs three bags of yeast. Okay, that's good. Six fission batteries. Okay. So now we're 23 pounds over. God, fission batteries are so heavy. They're 10 pounds. Let's see. I guess we could drop... I'll drop mines. This lever action rifle, it does 41 damage. Let's check it out. See, I kind of want it more than the than Sydney's 10 millimeter Ultra SMG, but that thing does some pretty good damage. Let's see, I'm pretty sure we need the shovel. Keeping the plasma stuff. See, we still need to drop 20 pounds somehow. You know what, the combat shotgun will drop. The double barrel does so much more. Uh, there's really not much else we can drop. I'm still 14 pounds overweight. Is there anything aid-wise that adds to my threat? Buff out, but not by much. Nope. Darn it. Alright, so that's it for that. Investigate Agent Yang's fate. Okay, so it's not even in here. Okay. You know what I'm going to have to do, actually? I'm going to go ahead and put the fission batteries and the yeast in here. And so when we go back there, I'll just go ahead and uh, grab those. Okay, uh, shack to morgue. Again, good thing for that ghoul mask. Man, we're getting so much aid, it's nice. Also kind of bad, because... Well, not... Certain aid. 
Activate. Oh, okay. Let's see if any of these are not empty. Whoa. Just a paperweight. Medical brace. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. Uh, how much did that drop me? Oh no, we're still we're still good. Okay, I thought it dropped me a lot. Be quiet. Manhole to septic tunnel access. Yeah, that that does that. We all, I knew that. Remains of Agent Wan Yang. You found what's left of Agent Yang. Inspecting the remains closely, you discover a false molar tooth. There is a microfilm within that must contain the self-destruct codes for the Chinese submarine. Remove the self-destruct codes. Activate the Chinese submarine self-destruct protocol. Which would be all the way at the sub-recovery site. Okay. Let's see what's down here, I guess. Radiation, I see. Oh, a foot locker, okay. Damn it. Nothing too much. Let's see where the hell this leads to. First, ah, oh, damn it. Did not want to drink that. Great to point lookout. Huh. Oh, look at that. We're almost at 29. That's nice. Just two bloat flies. Oh, we missed them both. How nice. Oh no, I guess we didn't. Oh, I really like how this thing reloads. Where the hell are we? Trash heap. Well, I guess we can look at that. Yeah, nothing good at the trash heap, it seems. Alright, so we'll come back over here for the stuff for that lady. But we're going to go ahead and see if we can't... Get to that submarine. We have killed 360 people. That's a lot of people. Almost as many. Oh, no. We've taken uh, less than packs. Okay, so. We're going to be stopping at Ritual Site, which is right there. Yeah, I actually really like the way this gun reloads. I want to keep it. Just because of that, I know, but whatever. And actually, I would like to... Well, I. it's not too dark now. I, I can wait. Oh, okay. I see anything bad? A tracker. That seems to be it, though. For these guys, I would like 
something with some pretty f heavy firepower. Look at him. It's crazy. Insane motherfucker. Well, he has some of that moonshine, I see. Burnt out basement. Okay. So I guess that's what's over here. Let's take a look. Oh, okay, it actually. That somehow stayed on for once. Uh, there's absolutely nothing in here. Well, that's odd. Well, there's a shovel and some yeast. It's kind of that's really weird. Where the hell did all these people come from? Alright, double face. I mean, do Ooh, that actually didn't do too much. Luckily, he misses all the time. Ooh, didn't do too much. Oh, it hit me. Uh, we got a creeper. Oh, this one has a gun. Oh, I was gonna say, where the hell is he? I couldn't see him. Guess what? God, I look so weird. Ah. What? God, these guys are so creepy. No! Yeah, we're gonna need some aid after that. Oh, that's actually all that's okay. Whew. Let's go down to Beach View Campsite. Crazy ass hillbillies. It looks like uh, before we go to the submarine, we're going to have to be taking some uh, Red X. Swimming, uh, swimming kind of gives us a lot of radiation. What is that? Oh, what? That scared the hell out of me. Shotgun shells, noodles. Ah, uh, nothing much here. Got the Calvert Mansion. We won't be going over there just yet. Be staying on course. Oh, there's the, uh... Pretty much where we showed up. It wasn't actually that far away. That's nice. Let's see. I would like to wait until daytime, though. I just like it when it's bright out. You know what I'm saying? That's more like it. You lost? Oh, God. Not really, but... Ah! 
What the hell? Alright, uh... No, not that one. What do we got, maybe? Packs even more of a punch. Oh, that, that'd be nice. <laughs> yeah, not laughing now, huh, you bitch? Saying hillbilly people. I'm not seeing a submarine. Oh, okay, there it is. All right, so let's first take a rat away. Now we'll take a red X. Can't tell if our light's on. Oh, it's right here. Oh no. I forgot I uh <laughs> I forgot I needed to breathe. Alright, so we're under it. This is just a random boat, I guess. Yeah. Ladder to point lookout. Whiskey, no thanks. Recon armor. No, ours is much better. We got a stealth boy, don't need it. Mission parameters. Let's see, is ordered to patrol hostile waters. Okay. Initiate self destruct. Personnel will have less than one minute to evacuate. Confirm submarine self destruct by activating the failsafe lever. Which is. Is that over here? Oh, I think it's this, but yeah, there we go. There appears to be a functional self-destruct switch, but the mechanism does nothing without proper authorization. Confirm self-destruct protocol. And I guess we have one minute. Yes. Ah, all right, let's get out of here. As you can see, we're really not taking any, uh, radiation. Return to the model safe house terminal for further instructions. Alright, let's do this. Motel safe house. I said model. Sorry, but sometimes you see something and it turns out, you know, it's on... I am kind of surprised that I've only I only found three of the bobbleheads. I really thought I'd be finding more. Extraction details, maybe. Agent Yang received automated correspondence of Chinese intelligence ministry. Recover the cryptomatic spectacles from the toilet tank in motel room 1D. Remote positive of mission parameters satisfactory. Orbital intelligence verifies SSN-371A termination. Please note following from intelligence officer agent ID unavailable. Agent, if you're receiving this message, then our satellites have registered the destruction of your objective. Well done. Please report to the my personnel bunker hidden among the grounds of Calvert Mansion. Coordinates have been provided with this transmission. The bunker entrance is hidden, of course. Your pair of cryptomatic spectacles have been hidden in the water tank of the toilet in your safe house. Retrieve them if you haven't already. Here is the sequence code to unlock the bunker. 12132442. Two, three, four, four, 
Once inside, the passphrase is Seraphim descending. I look forward to congratulating you personally, Agent. Transmission end. Okay. The cryptomatic spectacles. What'd that say? Use the cryptomatic spectacles and sequence note to access the spy bunker. Put them on. Well, we'll keep the gold mask on for right now. Okay, so. We actually have to go to this mansion, so I probably should have at least discovered it. But we got the little camp place we can go to real quick. And just walk our way to the mansion. But see why this mission, I mean, the only thing that I didn't, there I don't really, are. oh god, he scared the shit out of me. Oh, I missed. The only thing I don't like about, oh, that actually hurt me too, this mission, uh, well, besides these damn creeper people. Oh yeah, I got a lot of, or not a lot, but I some food. Is the uh. When you have to fight those robots. Because. Just because they're so. Uh. They have so much health. It's. It's pretty hard to kill them all. Well, at least he gave us a stem pack. Go f screw yourself, scrappers. Oh. Jesus. There's so active. See, they seem to respawn. I don't like that. Alright. Here we are. We're at the mansion, but we won't be doing the main mission. Calvert Mansion. So, let's first take a look around. <coughs> Sorry. Ooh, my voice is uh getting weird real right now. Okay, we got some jets. Activate pedestal. Oh, I could have just slept. Damn it. Empty foot locker. Okay. So we're gonna need the spectacles. Let's see, they don't say anything. Alright, but the yellow, okay. Hold on one sec, guys. Alright, that helped me a little bit. So. One, three, two, three. Okay. One, three, two, three, four, four, two. Complete. Seek the spy's extraction details and payment in the spy bunker. Oh, okay, right here. See, so yeah, if anyone's wondering what you do there, that's, that's what it is. Got a robot here. Final Cat Mine, thank you. Whoa. A lot of ammo boxes. Now, the only thing I won't be taking if it's in here is grenades, because that will weigh me down. Cool. This 
oh. is a hazardous area. For your own safety, please vacate the premises. No, the passphrase is Seraphim descending. Clearance acknowledged. Follow me for your extraction debriefing, comrade. Not yet. I'm grabbing all of this ammo. Uh, there we go. Whew. Just a lot of yeast and actually we can fix up our Chinese assault rifle. There we go. You can hold on a second, robot. I need to look at this. All this stuff. Oh, I didn't mean to take that. So we can fix up our lever action rifle, though. I guess we can fix that up as well. 85 damage. Let's see. This does 39. Not too bad. Oh wow, I mean there is just so much ammo. A lot of Chinese assault rifles as well. Chinese officer sword? Nah. A mini nuke. Where'd you go, little robot? Oh, there you go. Oh, right here. Okay, let's see we got more ammo. Carton of cigarettes, Merc Adventure Outfit, don't need any of that. Blackwater Rifle, huh. Fishing pole, another damn fishing pole. Another Chinese officer sword, a Blackwater Rifle, what is that? Because we got the lever action right here. This 39. Okay, that's what that is. Does damage 45 now. Sweet. Extraction terminal. You have done well to get this far, Agent Yang. Your payment has been transacted to your next of kin under the pretext of a ration lottery. With deepest regret, however, your life must now be terminated for the good of the People's Republic. Go with dignity, honorable soldier. You motherfucker. Alright, we gotta escape. Oh, I didn't know this locker. Ugh. Right here. Whew. So we got right away. Quest completed the velvet curtain. Alright. Oh, and we leveled up with that. Awesome. Explosives, you know, we'll go big guns. 60 explosives, we'll go to 70. And we'll be leveling up one more time. So... We'll go big guns to 70, even it out. And you do actually have to pick one which sucks. Let's see. You figured out on your own how to build. Oh, that's so bad. Uh, let's go back up to the top. Lady Killer, Little Leaguer, Thief, Child at Heart. Comprehension. With a comprehension perk, you gain one additional skill point wherever a skill book is read. Eh. With the entomologist perk, you do an additional 50% damage every time you attack a mutated insect like the rad roach, giant ant, or rad scorpion. Eh. To influence people, each rank raises your speech and barter skill by 5. Bloody mess. With the bloody mess perk, characters and creatures you kill often explode into a red gut ridden eyeball strewn paste. Fun. Oh, and you do 5% extra damage with all weapons. Ooh, that one I might do. 
Fortune Finder. Don't really need it. Gunslinger, while using a pistol or similar one-handed weapon, your accuracy, eh. While the toughness perk, you get 10% to overall damage resistance, up to 85% maximum. You gain 10% to overall damage resistance, up to the maximum of 85%. I like the bloody mask, because I do 5% extra damage with everything. But, oh, sh what the hell? But there we go, we leveled up to level 29, and completed the Velvet Curtain. Oh yeah. And we're even a little ways to level 32, so that's nice. Oh, get me out of here. Oh shit. There's a Mire Lurk right there. Do you want to die? I guess he did. Take him eat. Another one, god damn it. Oh, okay, I thought there was another one near me. Okay. So, guys, uh, on the next video, we're actually going to go ahead. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, the photo and the wanted thing. The next quest, we're actually just going to go ahead and do a spoonful of whiskey to get that over with. Um, which is right there. Um, but we'll go ahead. We're going to fast travel here. I'm going to grab all the crap, and that's when we'll do that. So, hope you enjoyed this one. We did the Velvet Curtain we finished, so that's awesome. Uh, have a great day. Bye.